All right, so we're taking another POV ride in the new Tesla. Anybody who's not familiar, this is a 2024 uh, Model 3 rear wheel drive Tesla. I've had it now for, oh, maybe about three weeks, something like that. We've got a whopping 336 miles on it, at least at the point that I took off and probably about oh, four or five charges. Now, I say four or five charges because I'm charging this before it gets really low. Matter of fact, I'm charging it to 100%, and I'm doing it eh, maybe every other day or so. From all of the verbiage and things I've read out there, Look at that, that guy's going off-roading right there. See who says you have to have a 4x4 to go off-roading? Right there. Uh, anyway, uh, I charge it probably every other day. Uh, it depends. You can actually keep this car, and it's specifically uh, the Model 3 rear-wheel drive, so not the all-wheel drive version, every day. You can keep it plugged in, and you should charge it to 100%. And there's a lot of controversy out there, I think, about whether or not you should charge a Tesla to 100%. But I can do it in this one because it has a different type of battery in it. I believe it's called an LPF, maybe, something like that. I probably have that terminology wrong, but it's a lithium battery. The other one is, uh, I believe, nickel cadmium, if I'm not mistaken, or at least nickel. And that one is the one that you're supposed to charge only to 80%. So it kind of depends on which model you have. I love that I'm able to plug this thing in and charge it every day because I never have to worry about it being low if I want to take the car out, right? It's always going to be charged 100%. Now, let's take a, a listen for a second. We're on a rather coarse road. And you can hear there what the road sounds like in the Tesla. I've heard uh, some complaints about it being too loud. It's nosy, no, noisy rather. Maybe it is nosy. Uh, it has a lot of cameras. Uh, but you get a lot of road noise and stuff in it. Now we're on a smoother road. This is more indicative, I think, of probably what your Tesla would sound like in your area. That just happens to be a much more coarse road, and we're back on a coarse road again. So it is rather loud here. And of course, road noise is really dependent upon what kind of tires you have. These tires, yeah, they're a little bit noisy on a rougher road. Not much for me. If I wasn't making a video, I'd have the radio playing, and frankly, I wouldn't even notice. The smoothness of this car, I still can't get over it. You know, Tesla did, I guess, a little bit of an improvement with the suspension, as well as other things. I think everything they've done in this car, they tried to address what you and I, well, me now, not before, but drivers of the Tesla complained about, or wanted, I suppose, concerns, I think, that people had had about the previous generation Tesla. I think they did a fantastic job. You know, I don't really have anything to base that on because this is my first Tesla. I have driven others, uh, the Model S and the Y, but this is the first one that I've owned, and I have to say I've been very impressed with the car, very happy that I've gotten it, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. I think it's just awesome the way they have this car set up. All right, we're gonna race a, a semi here. I certainly think I'll be able to beat it in the Tesla. Uh, the power of this car, the acceleration. I mean, look, we've left him in the dust. And I know, it's a semi truck, right? 
but nonetheless we're up to we're up to speed 56 55 miles an hour which is the speed limit on this road the 0 to 60 in this car is I believe 5.8 seconds even faster with the all-wheel drive and of course much faster with the recent performance version that uh, Tesla just put out um, it would have been interesting I think had I known and I suppose I'd have known if I did more research that they were coming out with the performance version not saying I would have bought it but it is way faster than this car or even the rear wheel drive I think it's 0 to 60 in two point some or maybe three point some seconds something like that it's got to be super fast maybe down the road uh, my next Tesla because there will be more Teslas in the future for me uh, I'll be interested in getting that but going back to the POV ride there's the turn signal of course it's on the steering wheel no more stocks here and I've heard mixed uh, I guess reviews about that some people don't like it some people don't mind I thought at first it was going to be a little bit difficult to remember where it is but I gotta say it's uh, almost become uh, first nature to me I know where it is I always know where to push even though I have other vehicles I drive that aren't Tesla's and I've got to say I like this more it's just I don't know simpler your hands right there on the wheel you don't have to move although you could stretch out your fingers of course to hit this the stock but nonetheless I like this it's kind of a a different more futuristic thing for me I think it's pretty cool not having any other stocks up here just adds to the mystique of the Tesla I think this screen the command center if you will of the Tesla is awesome it works really well it's very responsive and in doing a little research I have read that this screen is the most responsive out there and I'm not surprised because I've had no hiccups or glitches or anything strange with this screen whatsoever it works perfectly every time I need to do something I'm still getting used to where I need to push to open the front or open the back or turn the windshield wipers on even though I can do that right here in the center but there are things on there that you may use more frequently if you're in and out of the truck trunk a lot and things like that uh, vision wise you can see everything out of the front of this car there's no real issues with blind spots or anything of course you've got your typical areas the pillars and the seat headrests and things like that in the back but nothing that really I don't think is any worse than any other vehicle I have or have ever had so perfectly good when it comes to visibility anyway I just wanted to get on and uh, kind of bring you guys along for another little POV ride in the new Tesla I know if you're like me and you're out there and you're considering getting one it's always fun to watch somebody actually drive one even if they're not saying anything like I am just to uh, experience what it's like and maybe uh, take away some of that anticipation of getting the new one if you're uh, in the market maybe you've got one on order who knows thanks for watching stay safe out there bye